guys welcome back to our channel one more time thank you guys so much for watching today i'm doing this makeup look right here i am filming in my sister's room because downstairs just kind of is a mess right now and i really don't have any like pretty spots and i just really like the way my sister's room looked today i'm really close to a light though so i'm so sorry and i apologize that i look washed out um but i'm trying to show you guys how to get this look um and i call it kind of like my fall look um and it's so pretty i do and i use very warm tones and i deepen up um the outer v and it's so beautiful and i really really enjoyed filming this look for you guys so i hope you guys enjoy it and if you would like to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so we're going to start off on our eyes. I'm going to go in with a concealer first. And the concealer that I'll be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light. This, I'll just be priming my eyelids a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. Now I'm going to go into a fluffy brush, um, and this is an Eco Tools, really, like, it's one of the really old brushes that I own, um, but it's super fluffy, and I'm going to go into the Smashbox um, Photo Matte Eyes um, little palette that they have here. It's for shadow, liner, and brow powder, so I mean, there's lots of uses to this little palette, um, but I'm just going to go in with this shade right here, which is a matte, like, cream shade, and I'm just going to set my eyes with this first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of this shade right here which is crisp with the same fluffy brush I'm gonna tap off the excess the rest of the excess on the back of my hand I'm gonna go like in windshield wiper motions I'm gonna take a much denser brush. This is by It um, Cosmetics and it is the airbrush crease brush. But if you guys can tell, it's a lot more dense um, and it'll keep the color right where I want it. Um, we're gonna go back into that crisp shade right there with this brush. Um, and I'm gonna keep this, I want to deepen the orange in the outer like crease of the eye. Then I'm also kind of blending it into the outer V because we're going to add some more colors on there. Go back in with that um, really fluffy brush with no extra product on it. And I'm just going to blend out the harsh lines. So I'm kind of going back and forth in that windshield wiper motion again. As you guys can see, a lot of that orange is focused out here rather than in here in the crease. There is still like kind of a light dusting of that orange shade, but it slowly fades into the inner part of the eye. So I'm going to go back into the little Smashbox palette that I was using and I'm going to use the two browns. I'm not going to mix them. First I will use this one and then this one. So with the slightest brown I'm just going to go into the same, I'm going to use the same brush that I use um, with that orangey shade um, and I'm going to apply that right under the um, orangey shade that we laid out. I will go back to the fluffy brush and then just lightly kind of blend those stuff together with no excess product. Okay guys, so now with a smaller eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go into the darkest brown, which is this one right here. And I'm actually going to like, whenever I apply it, I'm not going to lay the brush down flat. So I'm not going to put the shadow on like this. I will be putting it on like this. And then whenever I need to blend it in, I will blend it in like this. I don't know if that really makes sense. But if you lay it down flat, it'll cover more area than you want to or that I want to. So that's why I'm laying it um, like straight up. And this is going to kind of create like the smokier look. 
um, and then I'll just intensify and the overall look. I'm also um, laying it flat and going into the crease a little bit, um, just very lightly to where it kind of creates like a shadow right here because we are going to be cutting the crease. You could also go in with a black um, if you really want to intensify this look. You could go in with a black, but I find that browns just make it a lot easier to work with. Um, um, blacks can sometimes scare me even till this day, um, and that's why I don't I don't necessarily go in with blacks. Barely do you guys see me play with blacks because they still intimidate me. You can see that gives us kind of like a cat eye, winged out eyeshadow look. It's kind of just very lightly, you guys, blending all these shades together. So usually as hard as you try, you do lose some of that orange um, shade because, I mean, you're constantly blending so that kind of the orange shade blends away or the browns cover it. So what I suggest is just going back in with a little bit of product and right over all your browns. Like, you know where your browns end. Like, if you guys see it, mine kind of end right here. So I'm going to go a little bit above with the, with the orange and start blending and applying that orange there. So to cut the eye, I'm going to go in with this Master Conceal by Maybelline um, in light medium. And I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics Angled Eyeshadow Brush and I'm going to pack my brush. Um, I put some in the back of my hand and I'm just kind of packing my brush with it. And I'm just going to cut the inner, like, a little more than half. Um, I want to keep this outer third um, the way it is. Into the Naked Cosmetics um, Loose Eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow, but it's like a heavy metal naked cosmetics i don't know what it's called but it is super pretty you see that i don't want to tilt it too much it's so pretty and if i do spray my brush and then apply it this will turn into like a liquid it'll turn into like a water so i don't want to do that because i did try it the other day and it turned into a liquid whenever i did spray some um spray on it but i found that if i put some concealer on my eye and just use the same brush and apply it with that it applies the way i want it to apply I'm just gonna put it right over where I put the concealer. Do you guys see how pretty that is? It is so pretty. So I'm gonna go back into this brush right here, a little bit of that crisp shade again, which is the orange shade, and I'm just gonna kind of go right where that shadow ends and blend these two together. We're gonna start on the face. To prime my face, I will be using the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Stick It to Pores Mattifying Pore Primer Stick. That's a long name, but you roll it up. I've really been enjoying this um, primer stick it's been one of the best that i've used from the drugstore and i actually see a difference in this i believe it was like eight dollars um at the drugstore so i don't like to mix this in with my hands because once i start to mix i feel like i'm pulling a lot so what i like to do is i like to add another primer and the primer that i'll be using is the benefit professional matte rescue primer and this is more like a gel and this blends into the skin really nicely so i just put it right on top of that and then blend it all together and blend it out so that my skin won't be pulled as much if I were just kind of blending it out on my own. And I'm going to go in with the foundation that I've been really loving lately, which is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Than Skin Mas um, Foundation. <laughs> I just, I was going to say mascara, um, in 80 rich tan. I usually put like three pumps in the back of my hand. I know it seems like a lot, but honestly a lot gets soaked up by the sponge. I'm just going to use my Real Techniques sponge to blend it all in.
I'm gonna go back into the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer um, and I'm gonna just highlight where I need to highlight. And that is usually underneath my eyes. My nose, my forehead that I don't have. A lot of people say I don't have a forehead because it's so little. My chin. And I'm just going to use the Real Technique sponge to blend it. It's all in as well. And you always have to be careful like on the on your eyeshadow because you can really mess it up. You work so hard to create kind of like that cut eye look. You kind of want to be careful on it whenever you go in with a concealer. Going with the Airspun Loose Face Powder in a Naturally Neutral. Just I'm just gonna use my sponge and set what I just highlighted. Face um, powder brush by A Cosmetics, and I'm gonna go into the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in a three fifth three in 235 sorry about that guys i can't talk to it <coughs> but i'm just gonna set the rest of my face which is usually like my cheek areas and right here just where i didn't put that translucent powder up now i'm gonna bronze up my face um and i'm gonna use the um i don't know what the i forgot what um where this brush is from but I think it's like from beauty 35 or I don't know around there um, you can get them at Walgreens and I've just really enjoyed their brushes but I'm gonna go into the um, Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here in the middle In with a little bit of blush and I'm gonna go into the Balm Springs long wearing blush and this is by the Balm. I'm not sure what the name is because there's so much like writing on this little package. I don't know what it's called. Balm Springs maybe? Don't know. In full swing maybe? I don't know but it's like a little sample of it and it's super cute and I just really like how like mauve it is it does it won't overpower this look and I'm only gonna put a little bit on um, on my cheeks I'm gonna go back into this little Smashbox palette um, and I'm gonna be using the darkest brown to fill in my eyebrows brush so now I'm just using this like little thin brush that I use for my like line So for lips, I'm going to keep it very simple. It's usually what I usually do all the time. And um, I'm going to use the NYX Lingerie um, Lip like Liquid Lipstick. And it's in Seduction. I really like that, but I also feel like... It's a little too much with the eyes. I'm gonna put like the center of it, this um, Ultra Beauty, this Ulta Beauty Metallic Lip in Power Trip. So I totally forgot about my lashes and my lower lash line. So for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go into the Crisp shade, which is this orangey shade right there with this um, BH Cosmetics is like a flat brush and I'm just going to smudge it on my lower lash line. I'm just going to go in with that brown that's right on top of it which is called Stylin and I'm going to apply a little bit of it towards the outer half of the eye. I'm not going to apply any falsies because I usually don't do falsies um, even with like dramatic makeup looks. Um, I actually like to add a lot of mascara on my eyes and I'm going to use this Dolce 
um, Max Lash Voluminizer Mascara. It's like just like a little sample size. Okay guys, so that is it for this makeup look. You guys enjoyed the eye look and the makeup look in general. If you guys did, then make sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know what kind of look you guys would like to see, what colors, you know, just let me know what you guys would like to see next. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.